Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial. Today's review will be Ragnarok Season 2 on Netflix. Let's get into it. So, um, if any of you into the whole superhero Marvel series and all that, you'll like um, Ragnarok. Ragnarok um, Season 1 came out on Netflix. And it's basically about the descendants of Thor and how it transformed into modern day life. And so I did a um, a review on season one. So feel free to look through. Um, I create a playlist for, so both seasons will be on um, the playlist. But you could um, check through my other videos and see what happened in season one. This season really picks up directly off of season um, one, and it's really it could both seasons is six episodes long. So it really could have just been one big season. I didn't. I guess they wanted to see how the first season panned out. It was a success, so they just. I don't know what was up. Why they only did six episodes for this season as well? So I'm pretty sure the popularity they eventually do multiple um, instead of six seasons, do more like ten. But nevertheless, it ain't too much that went on in this season. You had uh, um, uh, the um, actors and actresses, David Staxton, he plays his main, which is AKA the descendant of Thor. Um, Jonas Strand Gravel um, as Loretz, AKA Loki. Herman um, Timorous as uh, Fajor. Teresa Frosted as Jesby as Saxa. Emma Bones as Gree, Henrietta Sting's job as Torrent, and Sinev as Ron. So pretty much in this season, it picked right back up where main uh, Give me one second, one second. Main was fighting the, the, the top villain from season one and they ended up with the big fight scene at the end and Vidor Main grabbed the uh, lightning from above and it blasted both of him and Vidor. And the ambulance came. When they came, they pretty much was trying to revive Main because he was the kid. When they uh, resuscitated, revived him, the shock lit him back up. He, he jumped right back up. By the time he jumped up, by the time he jumped up, he... Uh, Ran, it blew the other ambulance guy like a few feet away. So he ran over to Vidar, and Vidar pretty much told him, like, it's a war now, and we gonna fight you. Him and his four cronies, they gonna fight you when the next moon comes. So, of course, it never makes it to the next moon. So now, Maine runs off, and he runs into the old lady at the grocery store that pretty much told him he was the descendant, pretty much told him that he has to go in battle and he's going to get help. He just has to be patient and people, his help will start to come. And so she told him, do not come looking for her because if they found out who she was, they would kill her. You already know that was the plot that that wasn't going to work. And then somehow, some way, he was going to come looking for her. So, um, life is going on. His brother um, is, of course, he's been ostracized by people as being like the eyeball. So, you already know, we know that from the Marvel series, we already know Lorette's is really Loki. We already know that. But he doesn't know he's Loki yet. And, um... When he's in there, he's uh, 
wondering why he's so odd. So it's, the mom found a picture. She found a picture. And in the picture, it got the dad holding Maine. And then the mom is next to the dad. And then she's holding Lorette's hand. So in the picture, it just sees like he's always the odd person out. And what it does comes about is that when she wasn't with the dad for some time and she worked at the factory, Vidar one night had an affair with her. And, of course, that came about uh, Lorette's. And she told Vidar, and then when Vidar looked at that, he looked at that as like, he embraced it pretty much. Like, he he got a new union to his family. His other son, um, Fajar, pretty much said, I ain't want nothing to do with the family. He was with his girlfriend, and he was going to rock with her. Meanwhile, Saxa, she wants to take over the family business. They have never had a woman do that. So, but she said, I'm willing to learn and put in the work. So while everything is chaos and everything is going on, of course, the townspeople with the untainted water is going on. Saxa is like the breath of fresh air. She's relating to the people, showing concern, and she's really stepping into that role. Meanwhile, the mom is upset because, of course, Vidar had um, had an affair. Now, they're supposed to be giants where... They don't have um, feelings. They're not supposed to show emotion, but she really, she's been with them so long, so she can't help but have emotions and feelings toward it. And the mom's name is Ram. So instantly in season one, there was a character named Iman, and I knew she was going to be like part of the Thor uh, group. And um, she was like Valkyrie. If you remember Thor Ragnarok and all that, she was like, I knew she was going to be Valkyrie. So the old lady told the mom pretty much like, hey, um, tell me to meet. Um, Cause the mom was running short on money. So she was at the grocery store and the old lady pretty much told her like, hey, you can um, take the groceries. Just tell me be at the bridge and know the secret uh, script. And so when she came home, she told um, Maine about the secret script and he rushed off to the bridge. And when he rushed off to the bridge, you instantly, he was, go all the people he thought was going to be part of the crew, it wasn't. <laughs> and then eventually you seen um, uh, Maine and I knew that she was like the Valkyrie character. And she came up and then he went up to her and he just like, nah, this ain't her. And she's like, what was you going to say? And then he said it and then she repeated it back to him. So you knew that she was part of it. Now, she had an old man with her. So at the time, I'm not really putting it together until a couple episodes in. That the old guy that was with her that's supposed to be a senile man is really supposed to be Odin, the descendant of Odin. And so um, they're piece piecing together there. Uh, but he doesn't have his greatest weapon that can help him and that's the hammer and so he tried to get Amon's power was she could fight of course but she could manipulate people so she used her powers to manipulate this guy in a um, mechanic to forge a fake hammer and of course it didn't work and they uh, now Lorette's he's, he's befriended Vidar as his son and he gave him a key to the house and then he betrayed um, he used, he took the key to get in the house so that they could wield the fire, the hammer with fire. Of course it didn't work. So they don't know what, how to forge the, um, hammer. And so of course, Maine goes find the old lady. When he goes and find the old lady, Ron sees that. So you know that the old lady is pretty much, she's going to be dead. And of course she goes, and the old lady could turn into like a falcon and tries to fly off. And of course, Rand, she has, she's good with, she's been showing, she's good with the crossbow. And she pretty much um, shot um, the old lady down. And before she um, died, she made it back to the old folks home. 
and gave the chain to Odin and said, you need to help me. And so that's where they pieced together the rest of the team. So they got the mechanic because he can help. He is he was one of them that helps because he can forge the weapon. But in the history of Thor and all them, you had um, they had a little person that helps forge the hammer. And so you notice you already see a little person that works at the old folks home. So you see the, where the connection is coming in at. And they just didn't know the, where the place was, where they had the ability to forge it. And then they find it. It's in the factory of um, where Fajor, Fadar, their, comp their company's a factory that was tanking the water. So it's in the basement of that. So what happens is um, when Lorette's a.k.a. Loki, he found he was the descendant and Vidar had him drink the blood like he had um, Thor drink the blood and he seen himself in the mirror as Loki. And But you don't really see none of his powers like really this whole time that he could do. And he was listening to the um, like the old stories from back in the day that Loki took the blood of Odin and made him stronger. So what he did when he found out that Odin, the old dude, the nursing home was Odin, when they took blood from him, he took and drunk the blood. And what it created in him is a, a, he, where he had felt like he had tapeworm and it was a worm swimming inside of him. They took the tapeworm out, but it didn't die. Normally those things die once they exposed to air, but it stayed alive. So he kept it. And um, in the Thor stories, Thor ends up fighting it in the Thor stories like later on. Nevertheless, so when he betrayed Vidar, Vidar's mission after he spoke of Ram was to kill the rest for betraying him. And when he Got him over the house. He was very killing with the axe. Main came in, a.k.a. Thor, came in and said, you're not going to hurt my brother. So they started the battles. They started the fighting. The rest is just looking at him. Like, I got my brother and I got my father. They're fighting. What can I do? And so what happens is he, um, Main fights him and the, the door had an axe, threw it against the wall. And of course, an axe is sharp on both sides. So the main reverse reversed him and threw Vidar against the axe and killed him. Now Lorette was upset because of that. Now he was now everybody know Vidar is dead. His the son, the daughter, Ron, the mom, everybody know he's dead, so they know it's on. So of course Vidar, he didn't want to be part of the family, but this was where he was welded back in. So, of course, Main met up with him and said, you know, according to the Old Testament, if I killed your father, we got to do a duel. And Vajar at the time was like, you know, no, I'm done with that life. And you just got to, you know, um, come to grips with yourself. So now, psychologically, Main was messed up behind all this. And he didn't want, he said it had to be another way. We can't do battle. So he spoke to the guys to relieve him of his powers and when it relieved him of his powers at Vidar's funeral he in season one he, he wore glasses and he didn't have to use glasses no more so now his vision came back cloudy the cloud the gods took his um powers away and so now he's left the bit he came fumbling down the steps he's clumsy again and he hurt himself, and when he hurt himself, he went and seen Odin, and Odin pretty much told him, you didn't want your power, so, you know, you're a regular person now, and the gods heard you, and they, or whatever, and took your power. So he, now at this time, Vajar, at the, after the funeral, he came to grips, like, I'm my father's son, so I'm taking a place. And when he took his place, he wanted to run a company, Saxo was mad because she was putting in the work. She's ready to run the company. But according to the laws that's in their family, 
the eldest son takes over everything. And then the mom was just sitting there and they was like, well, we got to vote on it. And of course, the mom took Rajar's position. So she went in, Saxa went up and grabbed uh, Lorette's and pretty much said, hey, I need you to join and um, I'll get you some money because they was running low on money. And now he joined and that was two on two. So they pretty much, uh, Vajar went to Lorette's and told him, hey, I know you just ain't here for the money. And um, you, you know, you could be bought. And he's like, and so Lorette said, I'm worth a lot. And he pretty much is like, nah, you're really not. Because a person that don't have anything, basically the amount that you say is really not, it's just because you're so poor, you, you're you going to take that, but it's really not a lot. And so some, throughout this whole season, you see people still always ostracizing uh, Lorette's and making him an outcast. And so finally the mom, Ron, um, told him that the last thing Vidar was going to do that they talked about was to kill him. And so that's what Maine had told him, like he was going to kill you, but he didn't believe Maine. And so when she said it, that was the confirmation he needed. So, of course, when Maine approached for Jar, like, yo, what you doing? Y'all fired my mom from the plant. And Maine didn't have his uh, strength no more, but he collared for Jar. For Jar could feel that he didn't have that God strength. So he beat uh, Maine up. So Maine showed up pretty much knowing he was defenseless. And they said, in order for you to get your powers back, you need to forge the hammer. And of course, now they assembled the team together, found out where to forge the hammer at. And everybody was given a sacrifice to get this hammer forged. And eventually they did get it forged. And uh, they showed up to... They showed up and beat because Saxa gave Lorette the key to the house. And that key unlocked the door at the warehouse at the uh, plant. And they knew well, how they, was they able to get there. And they knew Lorette gave it to them. So, like I said, again, Lorette doesn't show his low-key powers. And they the, uh, ran in the jar. The mom and son beat up. Lorette's and they beat him up pretty bad. So when Maine showed up, the rest was on the ground, um, beat up. And then he looked, he stepped in the middle of the street and seen them in a the car. But now he had his hammer and he took and threw his hammer at the car. And it, the hammer went all the way through the car and then came back to him. So he had his strength, he got his powers back. And so he got his team assembled. The Tate Worm that was in um, uh, Loki, he he was keeping it in the house, but it was getting bigger. So the mom was like, you need to get this out of the house. So he ended up releasing it into the ocean or the lake or whatever. So you knew it's eventually, he's like, you need to grow to be big. So that serpent thing is going to grow up to be a big monster or whatever. So that's what happened with that. Saxa, main showed up to fight um fight Vajar and Ron the family with his hammer and he seen that Saxa was beat up and then he like well, how this happened so what happened was she don't know that you can't will that only he could will the hammer so she went and tried to grab the hammer of course she couldn't grab it but in the process of that her and her her and him Saxa and me he came face to face, and of course, you already know there was always some chemistry there. Of course, they got intimate, did the deal, and afterwards, he came back to him. She was pretty much like, I couldn't take that um, hammer if I wanted to. It won't move. So that's when you know, of course, you had to be uh, worthy to wield the hammer. And I think I covered all bases. The mom started liking um, Eric, the teacher at the school. That was pretty much it. And um, Loki was still the outcast. He didn't find his mate yet. So he, you didn't see none of his powers either. So that's pretty much the season. And um, the, another decent season. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Till next time.